Little People Big World fans have slammed Matt Roloff's girlfriend Karen Chandler for overstepping. The couple discussed the family farm negotiations that fell through with son Zack on May 24th shocking episode. During the Little People Big World premiere last week, Zack Roloff ripped the patriarch as a bad grandparent who doesn't value his family. Fans finally got a full glimpse into his side of the story when LPBW premiered and viewers criticized 53-year-old Karen for her interference. Zack recanted how it all allegedly went south as he wanted to buy the north side of the farm, his favorite part. But on episode 2, Karen made her proud presence in the negotiations even more clear. Karen told her man as they took a stroll on the Oregon grounds. Well, I think it's interesting about Zack and Tori moving to Battleground. Matt said in a confessional, A few weeks ago, Zack came to me and said, I'd like to submit an offer. We sat face to face and it didn't go well. There's been some tension between us. Karen noted to Matt, now it seems the decision is done. I didn't need to be in the meeting, but I thought I'd go along. I didn't think there were sides. It was a business transaction and it didn't work out. Matt then concluded on the family passed down that he passed on. It may take years for people to see that, but I think Zack and Tori not taking over the farm was a good thing. Karen added there were communication issues and Matt concluded as they walked. You can't hate your father and grandpa forever. Fans were stunned to see Karen step in so heavily, as many felt that, while Zack's wife Tori was also there, Matt's girlfriend appeared excited with the outcome. If Matt's dream was to have his kids take over the farm, he could have facilitated that quite easily. He chose not to, and that speaks volumes. And Karen should butt out, one Twitter user wrote. Another posted, Karen is overstepping by getting involved the way she is, and Matt letting her make comments about Zack is not cool at all. A third wrote, Matt and Karen excited Zack isn't buying the farm. Why is Karen all up in family stuff? Father Matt revealed that he put the farm up for sale despite his son expressing interest in buying a portion of the property earlier, and last week Zack talked about it at length. My dad was definitely encouraging the conversation. Tori and Karen came too. The north side is the 30 acres my mom and dad shared, and the whole thing was weird. He starts making excuses. Suddenly me and my wife are not good enough to run the farm, Zack shockingly explained in a confessional. Whether we don't have the money, don't have the skill set. Tori said it wasn't cool, I never want to see someone talk to my husband like that ever. The price was more than I can afford, was going off of what my dad bought my mom out for. But Zack said Matt has raised that price to a much higher one. He went beyond the normal appreciation, I thought Karen's involvement altered it as well, she would say he can't do that. This aired after the news of Matt putting the home on the market, which the father of four detailed in a lengthy Instagram post. He explained his reasoning behind the sale, claiming his twin boys could not work together towards a possible joint sale. Zack's twin brother Jeremy previously expressed interest in purchasing a part of the farm, though that also didn't materialize. Matt claimed that Jeremy and Zack decided individually that the timing was not right for them to purchase a part of the farm at this time. Besides Jeremy and Zack, the reality star also shares Jacob and daughter Molly with his ex-wife Amy. In the comments section, Zack accused his father of manipulating the narrative right before the season, which finally premiered on May 17th. Matt announced the sale of the Oregon pumpkin farm this month. According to the Wall Street Journal, Matt has asked for about $4 million with the sale of the original family home and bright red barn. LBBW fans jumped at the comments section and slammed the TV personality for not selling the property to his offspring. One fan brought up Matt's children and asked, None of the kids wanted to buy it. Matt responded, They all had more than enough and very fair chances. Back in March, Matt had planned on retiring and spending more time at his vacation home in Arizona with his girlfriend. A source close to the TV star told The Sun at the time, Matt would prefer Jacob and wife Isabel to take over the farm, but he's not sure they are on board at the moment. Son Jacob no longer films with the show and has torn into his family for selling their souls for TV. Meanwhile, Zag has kept busy as his wife gave birth to their third child, baby Josiah, on April 30th. The happy couple is also parents to son Jackson and daughter Lila, all of whom were sweetly seen on the season premiere, and whom Matt claimed he's cut off from seeing in the premiere of the long-running show. The family recently celebrated their oldest child's birthday with a massive backyard party at their new Washington home. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.